A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us on Sports tonight. It's a very special Thursday night, and we will be doing a lot of special things on the program today. My name is Tony Ibitoe. I'm very excited to be here, and I can assure you that the next 50 minutes of Sports tonight will be plenty of fun for you. A whole lot to talk about. One of the things we'll be doing on the show tonight is we'll be introducing to you a very special guest who is here from all very, very far place and is going to be with us all through Sports Tonight this Thursday. Gives me pleasure to introduce to you the man that you see all the time, <laughs> Sonny Young. <laughs> wow. Sonny, we got, we got this ready for you. We got this ready for you. Because you said you were going to be here, and you're here. Thank you, Toy, and uh, beautiful gift. Uh, it's great to be in Lagos. Mm. First time I've been in Lagos. We've been first time in Lagos, first, first time, time in, in Africa, Lagos, second time in Nigeria. Okay, I, I was at the All Africa Games back mm. in 2003. That was a long, long time ago. I, they were in Abuja. Yeah, uh, so I wasn't in Lagos. But, mm. uh, a lot of energy in, in this the city. city. <laughs> okay, so Andy, you bring plenty of sunshine anytime we call you, and it's good to have you right here with us live on the show. You're going to be around for, for a while? I am, and I look forward to the next uh, 50 minutes or so. Yeah, of tonight. yeah. <laughs> you, you, you talked about sunshine stars of Akure a couple of days ago on this show. I wish we could just take you to see one of the games of sunshine stars this season. This I love weekend. that name. <laughs> Sunshine stars. Yeah, and the people's elephant as well. We talked about the people's elephant, Eyimba. You know Eyimba as well. Eyimba, the people's elephant. Wow, so I know those nicknames. <laughs> Sonny is with us on the show tonight. And I can tell you, Sonny is going to be with us all through sports tonight, this Thursday. Let's start off the show by talking about what is key, what is going on in Nigeria. The biggest news, of course, around football, around sports in Nigeria, is Stephen Keshi. What's the story about Keshi? In 2013, Keshi was the hero. A few months down the line, Keshi has been sacked by the Nigerian Football Federation. Is it the right decision? Is it not? What do you feel about it? We're going to be asking you to talk to us on our feedback mechanism later on on the show. But Austin just returned a couple of minutes ago from Abuja. He put together a very beautiful report on Stephen Keshi. We'll take that report. By the time we're back, Sonny is still here in the studios. Tunde Koike will be joining us. We'll set the ball rolling on sports tonight. Join us again. Sherry, that one took a deflection. There are three Congolese players there. Oh, great pass. And that must be goal number two. It is a goal for Congo. Super Eagles lost to Congo in their opening 2015 African Cup of Nations qualifier. It was the beginning of the end of coach Stephen Keshi. Super Eagles are testing their first defeat right here in Calabar. It has never happened before. Another defeat in the hands of Sudan in Khartoum on October 11th was the final nail in the coffin of the once respected Tatisha. This campaign continues to be a painful one for Nigeria. Three matches played now, the defending champions yet to come up with a win. Just the one point for them, bottom of the group for Stephen Keshi and his Nigerian side. Despite bouncing back to a 3-1 victory over the Sudanese in the reverse fixture, the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, dismissed Keshi and his technical crew. So Nigeria should have the patience with us. Is it going to be a tough call? And on our part, it's going to impact so usually on us, members of the Federation on our family, on everything, but at the end of the day, we're going to come out glowing. We're going to come out smiling. That is it. So, but right now, it's a difficult call. Opinions are divided over the decision of the football authorities to ease out the former Nigerian international. Some analysts say the 52-year-old sacrificed merit over mediocrity in the selection of players for the national team. Keshi. I've lost the dress room. The situation whereby you are managing the super egos, you manage players, you manage their characters, you manage their egos, you try to sort out differences if there are any because as a team you need teamwork. What happened at the AFCON 2013 was a, a function of teamwork and team spirit. Others question the timing of his ouster as he should have been allowed to lead the African champions through to the end of the qualifiers. Sacking Keshi now is of no purpose. It won't solve the problems. Um, the win against Sudan, yes, is a step forward. I think they should have allowed the man to finish the job. If he qualifies or not, fine. Bringing in our model now, it doesn't solve the problems. 
the big task before the NFF and Keshi's successor, Amadou Shuaibu, is to secure a win against Congo and South Africa to stay in reckoning to defend the title in Morocco. Well, even the show of solidarity by the players wasn't just enough to keep Stephen Keshi on his job. But then, before we go into all the details, we want you to be a key part of what we're doing on the program tonight. We need you to interact with us. We need you to talk to us. Tell us what you feel. Um, now we're beginning to get plenty of reactions. The impression that we had uh, before the sack of Stephen Keshi very early this morning was that everybody wanted Keshi out. But now we're beginning to get descending voices, we're beginning to get opinion that some people now saying Keshi should have been allowed to finish the qualifying games and we should have been a little bit more patient um, with, with Stephen Keshi. So we need to hear from you. We want you to talk to us and you know how to do it. The feedback mechanism is going to be on your screen. Yeah, that's it on your screen. Talk to us. We have a lot of comments already coming through on social media. Talk to us on Facebook, channels, iPhone Sports, and tweet us at channels underscore sports at my handle at Tony Bitoe. Give us your thoughts. Give us your opinion. Have we been too hasty in sacking coach Stephen Keshi? That's the issue. And we will be doing a lot of the discussions right here uh, on sports tonight. But let me go straight and put Sonny on the sport. Sonny, you, you are used to putting your guests on the sport. I mean, <laughs> I listen to you on radio, and anytime you, you put a call through to David Leg in South Africa, you always put him on the sport. Now we're putting you on the sport. What do you feel about this? Because the last time we spoke, you were talking about Stephen Keshi and how well he's done, and you're here now <laughs> to hear that Keshi's I, been talking to, uh, to you. I guess I side with those fans of the Super Eagles who, who feel that Keshi should have been allowed to finish out the qualifying campaign. Mm. Uh, you know, I thought he did a great job uh, winning the Nations Cup in 2013, uh, leading the Super Eagles to the title in South Africa. Uh, I know there was controversy at the World Cup, mm. but he did bring them to the knockout rounds. And uh, just, a, just a very dramatic uh, fall from grace. Mm. Uh, mm. But yeah, I, 